So is this magic? And the nail is disappearing? Or is there something else causing the nail to disappear? This is what you call a Luber's lens, named after Luber Fielder. Basically what happens with the Luber's lens is light comes in at a very large angle, then once it hits the lens, it goes right through, and what you see is a distorted background. It's stretched horizontally, and I'll show you here how this works. In order to get the invisibility effect to work, you have to have many objects in the background that are horizontal and a thin vertical object which will actually disappear. But if you obviously turn the lens to the side, you'll see the nail. Now everything that you see here is stretched horizontally in the background, including the nail. You can actually see part of the nail with the reflection of the light on it as it's stretched horizontally. So everything kind of blends in stretched horizontally. In order for the nail to be completely invisible, you have to get rid of the reflection. Yes, so you have to look at it at a certain angle, just like you see right here. You no longer see the reflection of the light off of the tip of the nail. So it looks completely invisible. Now, if you look at it from a different angle, with the light reflecting off the tip of the nail, you can kind of see the light reflecting off the nail right here in the background. But however, it looks like a horizontal line. So everything coming through appears to be horizontal. Now, if we change the nail in a horizontal direction, you can actually see it. And it's stretched out. See? stretched out. Everything is stretched horizontally when you look through the Luber's lens. Now let's put the lens over the spoon handle and the spoon. You can see that the image is stretched. This is what causes invisibility for narrow and thin objects. So we'll go ahead and put the nail vertical again. There you go. We can't see it. However, it is stretched horizontally. It is stretched so thin you won't be able to see the nail. It blends in practically with the white background. Now check out this one right here with the bottle disappearing. Notice that the window in the background and the bars in the background are horizontal. Give it the illusion that the bottle has disappeared. Now here's another one right here with the salt and pepper shaker. You can see the horizontal line in the background. However, a lot of the images in the background are stretched horizontally. This is why it's very important in order for the invisibility illusion to work, you have to have horizontal lines in the background, preferably with a plain background. But you can see that the images are stretched horizontally. See it right there? Everything is stretched in the background, including the bottle. So all the light and the images coming in from the background are practically blended in, as you can see right here. So any thin vertical object near the lens will practically blend in with everything in the background. However, if we look just at the top, you can actually see the shadow of the top of the cap. See it right there? You can actually see it blending in horizontally. Now this much wider object can be seen in the background as the lens passes in front of it. See it right there? You can clearly see it. The wider it is, the more you can see.